everyone, Yurina Mazbeya here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you've already read the title of this video today. We are going to be trying out a brand new, inexpensive, really cool makeup brand. It's called Folly Cure. So this is sponsored by them. They send me a bunch of stuff that I will be trying out for the first time with you guys here and giving you guys my honest review. I don't really like to talk a lot in my intros. This video is going to be long enough. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm Yurila Mazbeya and I'm so thankful you co you've come across my channel. La 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 la. Can't talk. Obviously that's my cue to stop talking so we're just gonna jump right in. Hey baby girl roll down your window. I love to see your hair flow when the wind blows. Even if the money been slow. Hey to you it don't matter cause you still gonna ride with me. You still gonna ride with me. I say you still gonna ride with me. Okay, so right now I have nothing on my face. The only thing that I have applied is a little bit of lip balm because my lips were like really super dry. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize my face because when I get out of the shower, I like to apply like salicylic acid to my face. And that's only because I have really oily skin. So I like to just use the salicylic acid to just dry it all out. But I always try to go back and moisturize my skin because I don't need to over dry my face. So before we get started, I am going to go in with the Lancome Hydrozen. I really, really love this. It's like, I don't know, it's like water for your skin in a jar. And I start patting it on the skin and then I rub it all in. I've moisturized the skin I'm ready to prep it so I'm gonna go in using the Mac fix plus prep and prime spray one of my favorite sprays I absolutely love it and then I'm gonna use my little fan to just dry this out so you can hurry up okay so now I'm ready to prime for this step I'm gonna be going in with the benefit Pore professional matte rescue primer this is a primer I've been using for years I just love the matte look and this is what really really helps me achieve that look so when it comes to primer, I also do the same thing as I did with the moisturizer. I start from the center of my face and then I just brush it out. And I do that because I want my center face, I want the center of my face to be more mattifying than like the edges of my face. I feel like I'm on the seventh layer and I still haven't applied any makeup on. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is color correct. So for this step, I will be using the Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter. One side is actually a powdered formula and then the other side is a cream formula. So for this step, I use this orange cream I guess it's kind of like a red formula. I apply this with the Master Camo Color Crayon Corrector, but there's no more product in here. Um, I just really love the applicator and I love how it just like helps me spread it out. So just an FYI, I'm not using this product. I'm just using it for the applicator. And what I'm applying on my face is that orange tone from the Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter. So for some reason I have like heavy discoloration right at the edges of my mouth trust me i hate it i'm so insecure about it so when i do this color corrector right i go literally on the lips as well like i put it as close as i can so now i'm ready for my foundation for foundation today i will be going in with the Too faced born this way foundation i love this foundation this is in the shade praline i'm just gonna apply a little pump well, one pump onto my hand, and then I'm gonna go in with the brush. Awesome, so now we're ready to conceal. For this step, I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Medium. Again, I love this applicator. It just applies like really smoothly. It gets like the right amount of product. I try not to dip into the product too much. I try to just use what is on the applicator the first time I like dip it, it's dipped in there because I don't really like to go back in and out, in and out because makeup can get really, you know, like dirty and it can have like a lot of bacteria. So I try to like minimize that as much as possible. So 
I do like to use the applicator to blend it out a little bit, but trust me, this is all that you're gonna need. Trust me. Okay, so this is finally when I use my beauty blender. So the beauty blender will absorb, you know, some of the product, which isn't entirely a bad thing, but it's also gonna help blend it out. I also like to shut my eye and bounce the beauty blender over the eyelid because since there is some product and the concealer on the beauty sponge, it transfers over onto the eyelid so it helps conceal that part too. I know that I could apply a little bit of concealer over the eyelid when I'm applying the concealer and with the applicator, but that's just not something I like to do. I don't like to overflow the eyelid because I have a lot of layers on the eyelid. Okay, so now I'm ready to start baking this face. Since I did use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, I am gonna go in with the Too Faced at the Real Setting Powder. I just think it complements it very well. For this step, I have a dry beauty sponge. This is the Fenty Beauty Sponge. I love it because it has that sharp edge um, at the end and that has like a sharp top and on the other side it has like it has a round edge So that's if you want to use that um, So I'm just gonna go ahead and start baking. Of course I bake under the eyes It's probably where I get my most creases from and this is where that sharp edge comes into play because I don't want to get it too much on the nose I can literally just like stop it right there. It allows that like hard stop right there All of this sit while we finish our makeup and we're gonna be taking it off little by little as we go through like the brows and then like under the eyes and then like the contour and everything I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyes now the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep them by baking them just a little bit and I actually learned this trick from Jaclyn Hill so I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter again and I'm using the powdered side and it's the banana powder one so and then I'm also using the Fenty Beauty again what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna overflow the eyelid with all this powder right so what it's gonna do is it's gonna create I don't know if I said this but I learned this trick from Jaclyn Hill what this is gonna do is it's gonna create that soft base so you're able to blend your eyeshadows just that much better so for this step I actually don't need to let it sit or anything I go back and I just take it off for this step I am using the JH 36 brush the one that she collabed with Morphe on and this has absolutely no shape there's no product nothing on it it's a clean brush and I'm just swiping all that off. And you can literally feel the difference. So if I go with my finger, it's just like such a smooth base now. Okay, so now that I'm done with that and my eyelids are ready for color, I'm just going to go back with that same Fenty Beauty beauty sponge. And I'm just going to cut this crease just a little bit more. So this is going to help the eyeshadow fall on the banana powder and not, on, not under my lid or on my face. And this is why I also love this Fenty Beauty sponge because that sharp edge allows me to just do it really nice and precise. Okay, awesome. So we're going to try the Prague eyeshadow palette. This is one of the first products that they sent over to me. So this eyeshadow palette does retail for $16.99 on the popular website. And just look at it. It looks really, really cute. Opening it up, it looks like this. So really really cute I love the little imprints that they have so they have like a little baggage right here I don't know if you can see it and then they have like a little plane I think it's like a plane ticket for this shade here and then it has like a little diamond here that is so cute all right so let me think about these eye shades for just a minute before we start going in and playing with them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my base shade. I'm gonna be using the shade Clementinum. I'll be applying this with the Morphe M573. So for my next shade, I will be going in with the shade Rosine. Rosine, I hope I'm saying this right. So this shade is about four shades darker. So I'm just gonna focus this right on the outer corner. Okay, so now that that's all blended out, we're gonna go in with our last color for our lid. And I'm going in with the shade Pulsner. I mean, I'm using the JH41 to apply this. So now 
I'm going to go in with that brush, the M573, the one that I used to do my base color. I have, I did not apply any more product onto it. I just want to go in and clean up the lid just a little bit and blend it all together. So I wouldn't be mad if a little bit of the shade transferred over to where I'm blending it. So that's why I'm using this specific brush with this specific product. So our next step is going to be our eyebrows. Before we get started, I'm ready to take off this bake up here just so I have a precise base of what I'm working with. So I used to be really obsessed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. It's this one right here. It's in my shade Ebony. I used to always use this for my brows, but lately I've been using the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. This thing is really great. So on one side, it has a little pencil here. I don't know if you can see it. And you're able to brush out your brows, right? And then on the other side, you have a very, very defined pencil with product on it, so you're able to do your brows. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are on and they're finished, we're ready to continue with eyeliner. So I'm going to take the under eye bake off and I'm going to leave the nose bake and my lips bake. Too. Okay, so as always, of course, I'm going to be doing a wing liner. So when I usually do my wing liner, I do go in with the Tarte gel liner, and it's a gel formula. And I go ahead and I use this little wing brush, um, angled brush, sorry, and I apply my wing liner that way. But for today's video, since Folly Care was so kind to send me over their eye liquid liner, we're going to go ahead and try this out. I do have a little bit of experience with liquid liner. I'm not going to lie, I might need some help. So their liquid liner is actually very affordable. It retails on their website for $5.99. So when, I, when I'm doing my wing liner, of course, like everybody else, I like to lift the eye, right? Okay, so this liner is very, very sensitive. So wherever you drop it is where it's landing. Okay, so now that we have our wing liner done, I think it looks really nice. Application was so seamless. Awesome, so I'm ready to finish off this eye look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the bottom. So I'm still going in with that Prague eyeshadow palette from Focular, and I'm using the shade Gothic Tower. <laughs> Just to tie this look together, I'm going to go back in with that Rosine shade, and I'm using the JH36 under the eye, so I can go ahead and blend both colors out. Now we're ready to contour. Before I contour, I'm going to go ahead and take off the rest of this bake. So it's been baking for quite some time, and now I'm ready to just take it all off. So when I contour, I contour the usual spots. The first thing I like to contour is my nose, and my favorite shade for this is in the KKW Beauty Powder and Highlighting Kit. It's going to be this lightest shade right here. Oh, I'm trying to find my brush. Okay. And I like to use a fluffy angled brush, so it looks like this. I'm going to go in, and it really just helps me shape exactly where I want it. So what we're trying to shade here is right in between the eyelids, right? And then we're going to just go down ever so lightly. So most of your product is there at the top, which is fine. And then you're going to brush it downwards. So what I like to do is because I can tell that there's a lot of product, not a lot of product, I can tell that there's product, I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and then just let it sit. Perfect. So we're going to go back and highlight the bridge of the nose whenever we are highlighting. But let's finish contouring. For contour today, I will be going back in with my Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter. This is going to be in the powder side. I'm going to be using the second lightest dark shade. And I'm going to start right here on the hairline. So now I'm going to go in with a really dark shade. But with the dark shade, I'm going to be very careful of where I apply it. So knowing that I have the dark shade on the brush, I'm literally going to go right on the hairline. 
Once I focus the color, I will brush it down and move it towards the center of my face. I'm going to be going in with this Morphe brush. This is from a Morphe brush collection. It does not have like the styles or the types. So now I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge and then just press all of the product in. Okay, so now that we're done contouring, we're ready to highlight this face and we're almost finished. So for this step, I will be using the face highlighter in the shade Nova Light. This is from Folly Cure also. And they were so generous to send this over to me, but this does retail for $11.49 on their website. Very affordable. Oh, it says glow on it. It's so cute. Look how cute that is. I don't know if you guys can see it. Alright. Ooh, I love the mirror. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like really light in here, but it's really, really cute. I love the shade too. I love more of like the pinky tones rather than like the metallic ones. Just because I'm all about like a bronze peach face. Ooh, this is really cute. This is where I go to the bridge of the nose here. I don't apply a lot. I'm barely touching my skin, but I do like to apply it right here at the bottom of my nose. Awesome, so now we're ready for lip color. So, Folly Cures went ahead and sent me over two different shades of liquid lipstick. One is in 07 Chestnut, and the other one is in 08 Old Rose. So, knowing me and myself, I really think I'm going to be more compatible with the 07 Chestnut. So first I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Cosmetics uh, Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Free Spirit. And I really hope I like this shade because it's really difficult to go in and change your lip color once you've... Uh, this one looks pretty rosy. Let me swatch the other one just, just to confirm that Chestnut is probably going to be our best bet. Let me just see. So this bottom one is the one that I want to try on. I'm sorry. This top one is the one that I want to try on. And then this bottom one is the Old Rose. So yeah. We'll do chestnut. Before we move on to finish the eye look, I'm gonna go in and just put a little bit of highlighter over my, under my brow bone. So before we apply the false lashes and the mascara, I'm actually gonna set this face and apply setting spray. So, we're going to set this face. I'm going to be using the Morphe setting spray. I love this spray. It smells so good and I really feel like it does the job. Whew. <sighs> Lovely. Awesome. So now we're going to finish up finally. For mascara, I am going in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. Love, love, love this mascara. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my lashes. I went with the Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Scarlet. Love these. These are one of my favorite pairs of pairs of pair of lashes. <laughs> Can't talk. All right, awesome. So this is the finished look. So the last thing that Folly Care went ahead and sent me was their brand new body highlighting oil. This is in the shade Sun Kissed. It actually looks really, really good. I think this is just going to be a great accessory. I love body highlighters. Um, as you know, I did review the Fenty Beauty Body Lava that I loved. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll drop it in the description below. And I also reviewed the Huda Beauty Body Highlighter as well. I love both of those. Completely different textures, completely different formulas, um, but I love them both and they both do the trick amazingly. So I was really excited to be able to be one of the first persons to try this new body highlighter out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush. I thought I grabbed it earlier, but I guess I didn't. Okay, awesome. So we're going to try this body highlighter all over my body. <laughs> just kidding, not all over my body. Um, just going to be my chest area. Alright, awesome. So we're ready to try this body highlighter. Let's see the texture of it on my skin first. So, put it right here. I'm just going to brush this out. Ooh, this is pretty bronze. <laughs> 
doesn't smell like anything, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, it's really, really shimmery. Like this is a really nice body highlighter. Oh my God, do you guys see that? Do you guys see the difference between my arms? It's pretty sticky, but I almost feel like it has to be that way in order to like dry entirely. So maybe I can like dry it out. tell me they like how bronze I am when I'm wearing like this stuff so it's obviously doing something right I do really like this I love I really do like this product all right I'm pretty done here pretty much done here all right you guys that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions regarding follow through I'll be sure to drop their website down below and I'll also be sure to drop all the products that I reviewed today this was the first time I tried them out so I like that they were all really good hits. I will be using them again, and they're all really extremely affordable. So if you're looking for a new makeup product, new makeup brand um, that is extremely affordable, check them out. I'm gonna have to let you guys go. I love you guys so much. As always, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Yuri Lavastea, and I'm so, so thankful you've come across my channel. I really hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Sorry guys, this chain is not gonna defeat me today. Okay. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.